my channel this is Cassie okay first of all I would like to go ahead and take a moment and just apologize because I haven't been uploading on YouTube and if you are someone who have been watching my videos uh, every week like every Saturday then I'm so sorry about that that I was not consistent enough but you know what I had to take a break I was in a rut and I used to feel so lazy I mean I would say I was lazy I had that motivation but I did not have that energy to go ahead and sit down and film videos but I knew that this had to stop and I had to actually get out of this rut and be back. Here I am back and I went ahead and I created this look that you see right here which is like this makeup look using only 5 products. Just 5 products I have used. So if you want to know how I went ahead and I achieved this look then make sure that you watch the video till the end. And also if you are someone who is new to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel by just pressing that red subscribe button down below. And and also press the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video let's quickly jump into the video okay so I have already gone ahead and moisturized my skin so this is what my skin and my lips are looking like and I have been uh, away from YouTube for a while and it's been a while that I haven't uploaded any videos on my channel so I thought you know what let me just go ahead and get out of this rut and film again and get back on YouTube so here I am so yeah this is uh, my first video after taking this long break from YouTube but it's like it's been almost a month that I did not upload videos on my YouTube because I wasn't in that uh, zone where I could go ahead and film videos I don't know why but you know there are times when you have to just take some time for yourself so let me just go ahead and start with my makeup so since my skin is already prepped I'm gonna go ahead and use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is that one product that I always use if I have any redness or any blemishes on my skin. This is what conceals this redness and blemishes on my skin and I absolutely love this. This is very very lightweight and it doesn't, I mean for example if you are someone who don't like wearing a lot of makeup or there are days when you don't want to put on a full face of foundation on your skin but you just want to look put together that is when this look will come in handy so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this concealer and I'm gonna tap it wherever I see redness and I'm not gonna use any tools in this video to go ahead and blend this makeup so I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingers to just blend this concealer that's it that is all I need and now I'm gonna go ahead and use my ring finger and tap this concealer I'm not rubbing it as you can see I'm using a tapping motion and I'm using a very light tapping motion to just blend this concealer and make my skin look even toned if you don't have brushes in general or even a beauty blender then I think you can just use your fingers and I think the warmth of your fingers kind of helps in melting this makeup products into your skin beautifully and I have been blabbering a lot because it's been a while that I have uh, sat down and actually filmed the video I haven't sat here and actually spoken on camera and film the video I did film a get ready with me video but in that video I kind of forgot to go ahead and film the intro and the outro because I was actually getting late uh, for the function I mean it was a family function I had to attend and I was already getting late and the intro and the outro part came out of my mind okay, so that is uh, what my concealer looks like and I'm not using too much of product as you saw so I'm just using that much of product and now I'll go ahead and move on to this blush that I got from Amazon I think it's from the brand called Chariot and it's the cream illumination blush 
and I don't know what shade I got this in but I will definitely go ahead and link it down below in the description box for you it is such a pretty blush shade as you can see and it definitely suits my skin tone so I'm just going ahead and scraping a little because as I told you I'm not going to use any brush or any makeup tools in this video so I'm just scraping a little and then you have to always go ahead and warm this up on the back of your hand do not apply it directly first warm it up let it melt uh, on your hand and then whatever you have on your finger all you have to do is just tap it do you see that so i'm just gonna go ahead and blend this and it is actually pigmented so i'm just using the same fingers again on this side as well and I love this shade I was on a hunt for good cream blushes so hence I saw this on Amazon it and it is actually quite affordable it is under 300 I guess so I went ahead and I got this one for myself and also applying a little on my nose to give that flushed kind of look from within i'm gonna go ahead and move to my eyes i'm not doing anything much to my eyes i'm just gonna pick the same blush shade and i'm just going ahead and applying it on my eyelids as well i'm not using it too much because after all it's a cream blush so you don't want to end up with creases on your eyelids i had two huge zits which has actually settled down now and it has kind of suppressed so i'm not mad about it and for my eyes i'm gonna use uh, this mascara this is the rimmel london scandalized mascara i actually wanted to go ahead and use my l'oreal lash paradise mascara because that is something that i absolutely love but since i wanted to keep this uh, makeup look under a budget i mean i wanted to make this makeup look simple easy and affordable category hence i'm going in with this uh, mascara so i'm just going to use my lash curler i cannot do without a lash curler so i'm going to go ahead and first curl my lashes using this lash curler and it does makes a huge difference in your mascara game please go ahead and get your hands on a good lash curler and it's gonna change your lash game so my lashes are done i'm gonna take the same mascara wand and slightly run this over my eyebrow area as well I'm not pressing it because definitely it has a lot of product on this so I don't want to end up with a very dark dark eyebrows so I'm just slightly pushing my brow hair in a particular direction and since this makeup needs to stay in place so I'm gonna go ahead and use my new new compact powder which is from Nika and I absolutely love this compact powder if you are on a hunt for a good compact powder definitely consider buying this one and this again retails for something around 225 but I got mine for 180 I would say so yes I'm gonna go ahead and use this compact powder and dust it all over my face just to make sure that everything that I have done on my face stays in place and I love this glow that you see right here that has come with just that blush I still want to maintain that glow but still I want to make sure that it stays on for a long time so I'm just gonna run my brush through this blush as well run my brush through this blush wow so yes that's what i'm doing and i still have that glow so and since i have an oily skin it is definitely gonna go ahead and get a little oily i would say glowy till the end of the day and this is actually an amazing product it definitely blots i mean takes uh it soaks up all of your oil 
it definitely is a good product if you are looking for a um, mattifying product then consider buying this one now for the last product i'm gonna go ahead and use a lip liner i am using a lip liner because i cannot do my lips without a lip liner it's in the shade called aa14 choco so this shade is like the perfect brown liner i'm gonna take the same blush and use it as a lipstick because definitely it's a cream blush and you can use it the way you want to use it so i'm just gonna use this on my lips do you see that i love this shade okay so this is what my makeup looks like and if you can see i have a little bit of mascara right on my eyelids and i don't mind that because it kind of makes my eyelid i mean eyelids look a little smoky so i'm just gonna keep it just the way it is i'm not gonna go ahead and wipe it using a micellar water but in case if i want that clean eyelid kind of a look that is when i go ahead and use a q-tip i mean a earbud and a micellar water and just wipe my eyelids and then i have only this lashes and a clean lid but right now i want to keep this look as it is and i'm not gonna go ahead and wipe it away like button and it will mean a lot to me and i'll see you in my next video till then peace and love to you all bye